Hello everyone, this is Mark Semine from Hewlett Packard Enterprise. I'm here with Dave Loper from Clear Center. And today we're going through another screencast. This day we're going to cover the VPN option in Clear Center. Specifically, we're going to discuss how uh, the VPN works, um, when you should use it, and how you go about enabling it. So, uh, Dave, take it away. All right, thank you. So, uh, there's lots of different VPNs options on ClearOS in the marketplace. Um, particularly, uh, they're well suited for different types of scenarios. Um, for example, uh, some are free and some are paid. Um, we have VPN connectivity uh, between ClearOS and other devices that are not ClearOS. There are basic ones that are ClearOS to ClearOS. There are Road Warrior ones like OpenVPN. And then there's uh, one that we're going to talk in more detail today, which is uh, Dynamic VPN. So all of the VPN are uh, network um, apps in the marketplace. And so here you can see a list of different uh, VPN servers. For example, here's OpenVPN, which is ideal for road warriors. Um, here you can see static IPsec VPN for business. Now this um, allows you to connect between ClearOS and say SonicWall or Cisco, for example. Um, the one that we're going to talk about is actually a cloud service, and so you'd find that in the cloud uh, section, and that's the Dynamic VPN. And the way Dynamic VPN works is um, it coordinates the VPN connectivity in the cloud. So if you have a uh, dynamic IP address, for example, at one of your remote sites, you can still connect to it because it will heal that connection. And that's what I have here today. I've got um, uh, two different uh, servers here. One of them, this one is a, a static address, and this one here is a dynamic, it's a home, a home box. So here we can see, um, to create a VPN connection, it's really quite easy, you hit add, and it will uh, go to the service delivery network, and it will see what um, servers you have on your account. So you, you need to, for this tool to work, you have to have it under the same account structure in ClearOS. And this one here is the other side of that tunnel. And by account structure, you mean the portal? Right. When I registered these boxes, I registered them under the same username in the portal. And, um, and so they're part of the same infrastructure. And because of that, that trust is already there. And so really all I have to do to create a tunnel is to provide a shared secret. Copy that out, and I'm going to put that over here and over here. Now, one thing that uh, you don't see is that uh, this app detected that my firewall settings weren't correct when I first went into it today, and it said that it wanted to um, to open up that firewall connection. So it knows the type of uh, situation that it's in and can see whether or not it's going to be working or not. So here I have the uh, firewall initializing. And I'm going to refresh this page. So when you um, first going to set this up, I mean obviously single click installation, but once you install it, then you're going to go in and do the things that you've just done. Yes, and it is very, very simple. As you can see, the tunnel is already up and we've got secure connection between the LAN um, side of the one, the one host and the LAN side of the other. It's taking care of all of that, uh, the firewall rules. Uh, by default, Dyma Dynamic VPN is designed to be a high level of trust, and so it's really easy to get things configured and set up. If you want more detail and granularity in your VPN tunnel, then you'll use like IPsec for business, or you'll you know do some things uh, from uh, within the. Uh, there's another one that does site to site that's in the home community. Um, so you'll use one of those other tools if you need more granular control. And as always, you can go to command line and do whatever you want uh, with any VPN technology that we have. So you recommend the dynamic VPN? I do for uh, situations where you need to have 
kind of a simplicity and you need to have just it to, to work because what will happen is that if that tunnel is down the dynamic VPN service will try to repair that tunnel that's it awesome well thanks Dave so we've uh, learned today a little bit about the VPN options that are available inside clear OS marketplace and, and you've seen that there's quite a few that they can pick from we focused in on the, a more specific one, the Dynamic VPN. We've seen how it's set up and, and how it works. Thanks.